while you're all working towards a common goal, you've all had uh, different schooling and you're working on different elements of that. So you have to work with contractors and other people. So you have to have great communication skills. Uh, he said that business courses in college would be helpful for a construction engineer or any type of engineer because even though you are building things, there's still a business side to it. And so you have to know how to run a business, especially when you are a vice president or a president of a company. Uh, he got a internship at IDOT after his junior year of college. And he said that this really helped him because it allowed him to take what he had learned in college and put it into the real world. Um, and one thing he said that uh, was for their applicants at his company, he always uh, focused on if they had any real world experience or any internships. And that was always a benefit to those uh, students. Three of the largest construction engineering companies in the world are uh, Thor, Jacobs, and Cubit and Sons. Uh, and so these are more worldwide companies, so there's definitely an element of communications across different languages and things like that. Uh, I focused on the University of California at Berkeley, uh, and their requirements are a minimum of 15 college preparatory courses that you can see right here. Most of them are pretty average for students at Brown to take these courses. Um, you also need to have a grade point average of 3.4 or better because you'd be a non-resident of California uh, and be in the top 9% of your high school graduating class. One thing that they focus on that uh, for the School of Engineering that is not normal for the rest of the program is that they have a preference that applicants uh, take the math uh, level 2 SAT subject test and a science test uh, that is closely related to their intended major. So that's something that you have to look to if you're going to want to go into the School of Engineering at Berkeley. Uh, their app, uh, acceptance rate for the College of Engineering is 12%, but this uh, percent varies depending on what uh, major you choose to go into because there may be more students that apply for the construction engineering side of it than there could be for the uh, biotech. So things like that it changes every year. For the uh, Berkeley School of Engineering, the total cost of attendance per year is $27,286. And their job placement rate after you graduate is 40% full-time, with 30% going on to graduate school. And uh, most of the rest of the students get uh, partial, uh, part-time jobs. The location of Berkeley is really great because it's outside of the San Francisco area. And five of the top ten construction engineering companies in the United States are located in California. So that gives you a local uh, element to it. And so for when you're at FREM, you can reduce the cost that I mentioned before by taking uh, AP classes, uh, such as the ones you see here, AP Biology, Chemistry, and a large amount of uh, English classes and History classes. And because they are a state university, they actually accept threes, fours, and fives, which a large amount of engineering colleges do not accept. So that is definitely a benefit. Specifically, Berkeley Engineering, there are 120 units required for graduation, and each class is worth three to four units per semester. You take four to five classes per semester. Uh, for freshman year, there's a lot of more of the basic level classes, even though you have already declared what major you're thinking of going into. Uh, but some of the more interesting elective classes that you have are Engineering Geology, which provides students with an in-depth understanding of civil engineering theory and concepts, uh, such as environmental engineering. Uh, physics for scientists and engineers, which focuses on mechanics and wave motion. Uh, structural engineering, which is about uh, the science, art, and skill of designing structures, uh, so that they function uh, as intended in a safe manner throughout their expected uh, lifetime. So, uh, at, for the construction school of engineering, uh, they actually, or most of the students there, uh, get an average of a 26 to a 28 on their ACT. Uh, so they actually look into that, but they also look into other areas, such as your background and your extracurriculars, uh, because they want more well-rounded students. They aren't just looking at your grades and how well you did in high school. So there's a lot of different elements that go into uh, getting into the school. Overall, construction engineering is a growing industry that is projected to grow by 20% in the next 10 years. With a median pay of $79,340, uh, this is a career that I'm interested in, and going to a college such as University of California at Berkeley would help me to achieve this goal.